Hello, welcome to this tutorial where we're going to be making some wirework jewellery. We're going to make some necklaces and some matching bracelets. So our starting point is going to be with the wire itself. So you're going to get some 0.6 gauge wire and some 0.8 gauge wire. So the 0.8 millimetre wire is heavier and thicker than the 0.6. So you're going to get in the gold and you're also going to get it in the silver in the same gauges. And it's a really nice look to mix and match. So a little bit of the silver with a little bit of the, the gold. So if we start off and we're going to look at our, our, our base wires. So our base wire is made up of the heavier, heavier gauge. So that's the 0.8. So we've got, our, we've got our reel of wire, so we're just going to find the end. And for this project, I'm going to be using my pliers. So I'm going to use the, the red-handled chain nose pliers, the blue-handled round nose pliers, and the yellow-handled side cutter snips. So I'm going to start off, and I'm going to find the end of the wire. So I'm just going to get my chain nose pliers, so this is on the 0.8 millimeter. I'm just going to open that up and just tuck that little end so it's out of the way. So what you want to do is you want to take off the reel and I'm just smoothing it through my fingers. So I'm just getting rid of any kinks. And what you need to do is you want to cut, cut yourself six lengths of about 50 centimetres, 20 inches or so. So we'll get rid of that little end there. So we've got a nice, neat end. And measure out and cut ourselves the six lengths. And once you've measured the first length, you can just pop that up to the reel and then cut your six so that they're all a corresponding length. So I'm just wringing, bringing those through and through my fingers to get rid of the kinks. I'm going to move now the wires out of the way. So I'm going to group in my structural wires together. So now what we want to do is we want to bind these structural wires so that they sit nicely and neatly and firmly like that. So the way we do that is going to be with our lower gauge wire, which was our 0.6. So if we have a look at the 0.6, so we're going to use the contrasting gold. So again, I'm going to find the end and let that go. But this time, I'm not going to cut it and take it off the reel. I'm going to leave it on the reel as I work. So again, I'm just going to trim off with the cutters just the little end. So I'm going to start to group my wires together. So I'm going to work from the one end and work, work my way down. So I'm going to start off and I'm just, again, running the wires through my finger to sort of flatten them so that they're all sitting next to each other. I'm going to take my 0.6 and I'm just going to leave a little bit of a tail and I'm working probably about an inch and a half from the end. So I've got a little tail here and that's going to do a couple of things. That'll mean that as I start to bind the structural pieces of wire, the silver wires, I've got a little bit to pull on to get a nice bit of tension and I can also go and neaten up afterwards if I need to. So I'm just supporting all the wires in between my thumb and my finger. I'm going to start to wrap around all of the structural wires. So I'm just going to start to bring that wire all the way over. So I'm going to take the reel and bring that round. So now as I start to bind really firmly, I'm going to do one full wrap and go all the way over again and bring round. So then I'm going to take my the red-handled chain nose pliers 
and you can see, so the wrap, and it's sort of, it's, it's sticking up a little bit, and we want to get that gold wire so it's really nice and tight and firmly pressed against the silver wires. So I'm going to go in and just squeeze that down. And again, I'm going to take the gold wire and take it over and bring round, and take the reel over all of the structural wires and back under. I'm going to repeat that five times. And what you might find is that as you start to work down, the first couple of wraps that you've done weren't, weren't very um, neat or they weren't really pressing against the silver wire. So you can always keep doing extra wraps on this side of the wire and undo from this side if you need to. So if I keep doing a little bit more, so I'm supporting, still supporting here with these fingers and every few times that I do a wrap, I'm just going to push that in with my pliers and continue to wrap. So I'm making sure that the silver wires, the structural wires are sitting next to each other and not on top of each other and wrap round. So when I've done a full wrap, so whether I have five or six wraps, I'm just going to go in and pop that right into the really nice surface area that I've got in my chain nose pliers. And so I've just pressed all that down. So that is now binding all the silver structural wires together. So I'm going to now just take those in my finger and run them across so they're all nicely lined up. I'm going to take my wire and I'm going to go across. So it's the same sort of binding, but this time I'm going at much more of an angle rather than really close up to the, the binds that I've done before. So I'm going to angle across. And what you can do is, if you prefer to, you can either do freehand or you can mark or gauge to have roughly about an inch. It's entirely up to you. So I'm going to take that. So I'm going sort of diagonally across all the structural wires. And if, if, as you can see, so my structural wires are starting to cross over. So if I pop them really carefully in the, in the chain nose pliers, you can see how they then straighten themselves. So again, so I'm going to hold that so it's the, the gold uh, weaving wire is going across. And when I'm happy that it's about an inch, I'm going to hold there. I'm going to start to do the same wrapping over the tight bind. So again, over all the structural wires and bring round. And on that first wrap, I'm going to go in and really squeeze down again and nice tight binds. Again, bring over and wrap around and bring over and wrap around. And every time I wrap, I'm going to go in with my pliers and give it a pinch down. So now, if I just show you how you're going to just continue all the way along until you've done probably about 18 or so of the wraps. So we'll do one more, we'll go across. And again, I just need to straighten out the, the wires to make sure that they're not crossing over. And you can just go in with your, your fingers or your nail and bring that round. Again, just bring that binding wire over and across and pinch down and over and across and pinch down. So we keep binding all of the way. So you can see how this starts to build up. So you're going to keep going all the way along, building that pattern, just repeating the pattern. So now what we've got is we've continued the pattern all the way around. So you can see you've got the, the contrast there of the gold and the silver. So what we're going to do now is we're now going to finish the ends. So if we have a look, there are different ways to finish the ends. So you can just turn, turn a loop at the end. Or you can make yourself like a little clasp at the 
at the end here. Okay, so we'll do one of each. So now what I want to do when I've got enough of the binds and enough of the decoration, I'm then going to go and use my yellow handled side cutter snips. So I'm just going to lift ever so slightly the binding that we've done and go in and snip off. But because I've lifted the wire, what we need to do is we need to go back in with our red handled chain nose pliers and just pinch back down. So we'll do exactly the same on the other side. We'll lift it up slightly so that we can get in really nice and neatly and snip off. And again, back in and pinch. So now what we can do is we can trim off some of the, the wires. So I'm gonna leave out one of the wires, so I'll take one in the center, so I'm just gonna push that one out of the way. I'm gonna snip off, probably leaving about a centimeter, and snip the others, and get rid of those. So I'm now gonna to swap to my round nose pliers. So if I wanted to, um, to just have the, the ending of the, the necklace of how we had to look at first, so just the loops that you can see here, so all we'd need to do for that is we take our pliers, so if we pretend that we haven't got that one there for a minute, and we just go in and we bend. So I'm just rolling, rolling the wire around so that I start to create a loop to tuck those ends out of the way and bring that round. I'll do exactly the same on the other side. So what we're going to do out of this, the longer one, is we're going to really drop that right into the widest part of the round nose pliers and we're going to make a bit more of a loop. So I'm going to come out at an angle and bring round and start to create a loop. Now you can work, you can either do this freehand or you could use a pen or depending on how, how large a loop you wanted or a lipstick. You're just looking to get something that makes a little, a little loop like that. So I'm going to hold with my chain nose pliers and just wrap the rest of the tail around the base of the loop. And again, I'm going to go in with my yellow handled snips and just get rid of that, the excess wire that I don't need. And just check again, see if there's any little sharp bits and if there are, just tuck them in. So now you've got the loop at the one side. So to finish off the other side, we're going to do exactly the same. So we're going to separate out one of the central wires, and move that out of the way. About a centimetre up from that last bind, we're going to trim off and remove the excess wire that we don't need. I'm going to turn the loop to tuck those in. So again with our round nose pliers and roll around, get those out of the way. So again bringing in, rolling it towards you so that you've tucked those ends and they're out of the way. So you've now got a one wire left. So we're looking to make a little bit of a clasp here. So again we start off and we bring round so we're going to make almost like the full loop. If we had a look at it from the side, it would almost look like a question mark. So we're going to come up and round and again, pop it back in the pliers. And you can, again, if you wanted to use a pencil or your pen there to create that curve, we're going to bring that through right into the tip of our round nose pliers to make a small loop. Bring in, and we don't need the rest of that, so we can go in again with our cutters, snip off the excess, so pop it back on our pliers, to turn a loop, so we've now got the other side of our clasp there. 
to uh, do the bracelet, you'd use exactly the same techniques, but a much shorter length of our uh, structural 0.8 wires. So on this time, all we need is, we need our pieces of the 0.8, so our structural wire again, and our 0.6 binding wires, but we've got much shorter length there. So on average, about, uh, about seven, seven or so inches. So you can see we've done exactly the same bind. So to add a little slight different variation, when you've gone all the way to the end, is we can just work our way back. So I'm just gonna run that wire through my fingers to get rid of any kinks. And if we go all the way and start to work our way back, this sort of makes crosses. So I'm start, I've finished there, so now I'm going to do exactly the same, but I'm coming in from a different angle, so from the top, and bringing around. So that crosses over the original diagonal binding wire. And I'm just going to go back in and bind again, and that will get lost into the original vertical binds and come up and again cross over and hold and bind so that it gets lost within that original bind and up. So every time that you come back over, you then start to create the crosses. So that's a really nice variation and you can see how it looks as well if you use the same coloured wire or if you're going to use the gold and the silver. So you can see now how that is given that, that cross detail. So in the same way, when you finish doing all of your binds, you're going to go in and cut and press down and cut and press down. And to finish the bracelet, so again, I'm going to trim off until I've got probably about a centimetre and work my way through all of the pieces and go in and turn my loop. So I've got a nice, neat, smooth end. And then I can just form a structure to create the bracelet or the cuff. So it's sort of, it's more of a, an oval shape so that it's more of a cuff rather than a round. You just do exactly the same on the other side. And there you've got your variation. So there we go. So you've got your, your necklaces and your bracelets.